Good morning from Colorado Springs. Um, it's the first day of our 21 day fast that we're calling actually started last night and it's Rosh Hashanah, Happy New Year, Israel. <laughs> um, behind me, you may have seen this picture as I've shared it. It's actually uh, a photo that was taken at Azusa now. At the end, everybody had their, their, uh, their, their phone lights on. Uh, I did it on purpose because I just wanted to prophesy that there will be literally thousands who would stand in the heavens. They would be a light in the heavens with prayer and fasting to affect uh, the globe. And I just love the picture. And today, I believe there are thousands who are standing in fasting and prayer for the great issues that faces today. As I said yesterday, we are in this 21 day stand to proclaim liberty to the unborn, to for the freedom and the healing of, uh, 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 and the help of pregnant mothers. Like Daniel, we take a stand in the heavens, believing that principalities and powers will be shaken over the Supreme Court on this issue of life and death for the unborn. At the same time, there are so many issues crises, moments, uh, things that are taking place. Uh, I once heard James Gall preach on a crisis intercession. We're in that kind of day right now. I want to read a dream that I uh, that was given to me years ago that affected us in our intercessions. Uh, let me let me uh, read it to you. It said we were walking outside when torrential rain started to pour down. Huge drops of rain the size of golf balls fell all around us, yet we were not getting wet. Suddenly we began to run. Look, in the distance, not too far away, two tornadoes were coming toward us. We began to pray uh, concerning these tornadoes. Suddenly we noticed that the twisters were forming right above our heads. As we prayed, we were compelled to reach out and touch the twisters. The instant we made contact with them, the tornadoes dissipated and went back into the clouds. As more and more twisters came, we began to do full extension dives to intercept them before they touched the ground. Timing was critical. At times we dove and made contact with only a space as wide as a man's hand stood between the twister and the ground. Again and again we dove, intercepting one tornado after another. Soon we noticed that our hands were burning from touching the tornadoes. Blisters began to form on our skin. Overhead, dozens more tornadoes began to form. The sky was filled and the twisters became too numerous to count. We exclaimed to each other at the top of our lungs, never before has this happened in history. Oddly enough, we felt no fear but stood in awe of the spectacle. Then we begin to notice as astounding phenomena uh, an, an astounding phenomenon. Whenever we touched the earth or water, uh, touched the earth or water, as we were diving to stop the tornadoes, more twisters began to form, but this time from the ground up. Overcome with amazement and the fear of the Lord, we knew this was from the Lord. Somehow, God was allowing us to intervene as we were diverting the tornadoes plummeting toward the earth. God was releasing tw um, re releasing twisters of water through us that rose from the ground. Only as we dove to stop the descending torrents could we initiate an ascending water spout. I believe we are in a moment of so many twisters in the earth. The powers of darkness unleashing their, uh, uh, their, their forces. And yet God is calling for intercessors everywhere to dive, intercept those things, and dare to believe that out of the ground will come wells of revival. In fact, this book it called uh, uh, called Digging the Wells of Revival has just been re reprinted. And I think maybe for such a time as this, uh, so as we are standing and intercepting the, the 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 great rage over this Texas case and the upcoming court case, we are it, we are extending ourselves in 21 days of fasting, praying, Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins and the sins of my nation. God end abortion and send a revival to America. God end abortion, the, the twister, and then God out of the ground, unleash the greatest revivals to America in Jesus' name. 
But that's not all. There are other twisters. The whole thing with Afghanistan in these days, we must stand that God would literally restrain the Taliban demonic powers that are seeking to release death, extend ourselves to pray that there would be an unleashing of a great awakening and revival in Afghanistan and through the whole Muslim world. This is why I'm sharing this today because I just received a phone call and um, it's it's from uh, re reliable sources uh, there in Afghanistan. And, and they begged me that I would raise up three days of fasting and prayer. Uh, I can't go into the details, but there are reliable sources that, that are uncovering some, some plans that on 911, both in America and in Afghanistan, these major uh, demonic tornado schemes are being released for something in America, a devastating 911 assault or something, and something taking place that would be horrendous in Afghanistan. I'm asking you, would you join us as we continue to stand and praying in the heavens, taking our stand in the courts of heaven over the Supreme Court of Earth? At the same time, in the next three days, the 8th, 9th, and 10th, I want us to take a stand in the heavens and, and dive and intercept these demonic uh, uh, schemes and that God would use these days, even as we understand there is a gospel offensive going on right now in Afghanistan, people risking their lives. We hear of Taliban uh, people, uh, 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 members are having encounters with, with, with Jesus. People, I believe God uses the wrath of men to praise him. But can we stand eight, nine, and 10? Can we fast for three days and say, God, we, in the name of Jesus, we restrain these assignments in the name of Jesus. And at the same time, we're praying for this major breakthroughs concerning the Supreme Court. Uh, I think the case now is being pushed back. But right now, we can win the battle in the heavens right now in September. Also, during these holy days, as the assignment came on my life uh, on this past 40 day fast that we did earlier this year to continue to pray for the salvation of the Jews. To the Jew first was the word that was given to me. Even now, uh, uh, we're starting today 40 days, uh, 40 days of called the equip. Uh, you can go to the gatesofzion.net, just brief videos of a dear friend that is releasing brief videos to give us a 40-day kind of picture and how we could get caught up in the whole uh, uh, um, message to the Jewish peoples. And the, these are high and holy days of the Jewish peoples. This is when God promises to visit the Jewish peoples. And we, as those grafted in, are also believing that during these 21 days, all of us are going to have encounters. We're going to meet Jesus. I'm praying for 21 days. Jesus set a seal over my heart, a love stronger than death, the very flame of Yah. I am asking God, let, let me experience the fire of your love that is so strong. It delivers it, delivers me and drives me out of, of a culture of entertainment to a fire of love that seals me deeply. Come on, brothers and sisters, these are great days. Three days fasting starting tomorrow, Afghanistan. Restrain the 911 plan. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now we take our stand and we do pre plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins and the sins of my nation. God, end abortion. Send revival to America. Father, we pray that you would restrain the tornadoes that are falling on every part of this nation. Jesus, we cry out to you, God, and we take our stand in the heavens. We die to intercept the demonic plans. We say, Lord, unleash the greatest revivals. Dig the well of revival in all through America in Jesus' name. And we, we pray, Lord, for the Supreme Court. We bind those five judges together. We bind them together, Lord, that they would stand for life in such a time as this. And Lord, right now, we even begin to pray for these uh, for this 911 assignment we say in the name of Jesus we release angels into the heavens restraining warring angels to restrain the demonic powers and the schemes of
of darkness. Lord, we see war in the heavens over Afghanistan. Restrain, expose the plans, uncover Uncover the evil schemes. We dive in the name of Jesus. Intercept these plans. And as we do loose a great awakening, a salvation explosion all through Afghanistan, all through America, all through Israel, the nations of the earth. These are your days, we declare. These are not the days of darkness. These are the days of the great light beings unleashing awakenings. We praise and worship you, Lord. We say in the name of Jesus, expose and restrain. Amen. Bless you today as we pray moment by morning, moment, taking our stand in the heavens. Amen.